Disney Speedstorm may have lied to us. When you start up your character, this is what you get. A unique skill upgrade, a common skill upgrade, max level upgrade, and a crew member upgrade. But what if I told you there's another stat that they give you that will guarantee you win more races? I've grinded two characters, level one, two diamond to prove this point. Jumba, as well as Buzz. What made me be able to do this is the fact that they are four stars. Now you guys could say, but Poppin, because you have crew members, it's why you're faster, it's not the stars. I've tested this without crew members. I used Jack Sparrow, three star, no crew, no levels, and I beat a genie that was level 25, two star, and the crew that he had was gold. His top speed was 5,600, and my top speed was 2,900. You are faster when you have more stars than someone else. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I do have crew members on, but that's because everybody up here has crew members. But having a four star racer should guarantee that I get the top, uh, top four placement, even though I have no levels in it, as you guys seen. Let's go ahead and try to actually make this happen though. Because, oh my lord, got heat. So it's a lot easier to do it with a character that has boosts. That's why I wanted to do it with Jumba. Because Jumba doesn't have any boosts, realistically. So, like, you know, it's all drive skill at that. You see how fast I am? I'm level one. I'm level one, and I'm this fast. This fast, guys. It's ridiculous. Again, but Buzz is pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. He's, he's this fast. Oh, that sucks. He's fast, I'm not gonna lie. Now, one of the main things you have to keep in mind when doing this is that if you are stunned as a level one, you your, your recovery is horrible because you don't have any combat stats. And that's something you wanna think about if you are gonna try to do this. My advice would be to level up till you're comfortable. But for me personally, I'm able to like just win a lot of these races just because I feel like I'm better than average. I'm not saying I'm like the best player alive, but I, I'm better than the average player, and there's a lot of players that, you know, don't hardcore play this game like I do. But the point is, I'm still keeping up with you. I'm level one, guys. Level one. Those of you that ran into me in ranked and you see me beat you, it's not because I'm better than you. It can simply be because I have four stars. I'm not even driving perfectly. I'm actually, like, driving pretty awful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is gonna be rough, but we're gonna try. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mess it up. Mess it up, guys. We're gonna go this way. Come on, come on, come on. We close it out, close it out, baby. Come on, Buzz. You got this, baby. Close it out. Close it out, close it out. Gotta be careful because they're coming. All right. So at the end of this, we're gonna check and see what levels they are, all right? We have a level 35, a 33, a 39, a 35, a 28, a 26, and a 30. Now let's check the players under me. Cool Sonic 99 I'm gonna use your profile real quick. No, I'm checking. So you use Steamboat Mickey, right? Check this out. Three stars. I'm four stars, but I'm level one. How am I beating you? So nice monkey B played Mickey Mouse. Three stars, why am I faster? If levels matter as much as star power, why am I faster? All right, so we're running the same thing, except my Hades is 25 and only two stars. We're going to see how much more difficult it is. Again, I understand I'm kind of better than the average player, but I shouldn't be able to win with a level one if all these people are 39, 30. Like, it just doesn't make any sense, right? So let, let, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm way in the back now. I'm way in the back. Again, I've done this with multiple characters. You guys have seen on my videos. You guys have seen me stream. I've done this with multiple characters. The issue is some characters are just downright better when they are four stars. Well, not some characters, all characters are better when they're four stars. Ooh. Oh, I messed it up, I messed it up. Keeping it down, keeping it down. This is perfect. And another thing you want to keep in mind is that, yes, some characters are actually better than others. If you have four stars, or if you have more stars than them, you should win at least the top four spots. You should just beat them. Now, it, let's just say you are the same star level, right? We're both, we're both star four. Who wins? We're both star five. Who wins? Well, surprisingly, that's when tier list comes in. There are some characters that are downright just better than others, like straight up. Aladdin is a prime example. He is downright better than other players, or better than other racers. Oh, we got TPs coming in, that's not good. He's downright better. So with that in mind, 
it's not only that you're playing against the star system that's created, but you're also playing against the fact that some characters, oh wow, that's awful. Oh boy. But you're, oh, wow, that's awful. But you're also playing against some characters that are actually better than your racer. So you have two things against you, these stars and the racer. So where does the level come into play, right? Let's see, point taken. Why was it easier to beat these guys with a level four? Like I said, I've done it with Jumba. I've done it with other characters. It's easier to win if I have more stars than you. So as you've seen in both examples, I'm able to win easier with a four star Buzz, Jumba, or whatever else I play, but I struggle with a level 25 two star. The four star is level one, no crew. How on earth am I having an easier time? This goes to show that levels don't matter Crews don't matter. The only thing that matters is the star power. And this bothers me because this is a ranked mode. Why is a ranked system designed like this? This even stems to leaderboards. If you're doing a leaderboard that is not a regulated time trial, you are going to be for sure placed in 75%, 100% because you don't have the star power. Now through all the trial and error that I've done, I actually have a way to climb comfortably. If you want to aim a character to diamond to get there comfortably, you're going to need to have a three star character. If you're gonna to want to get to champion comfortably, you're gonna need a four star character. And if you want to get to grand champion or higher, you are going to need a five star character. That being said, if you run into someone with the same star level as you or the same level as you, the better character will win out and you still will lose based off of that. It really hurts me inside because season five is rolling around. We have another chance to get a whole lot of players. And with stuff like this, it doesn't matter how good you are. At the end of the day, you are paying for power. And whether or not you're a casher, whether or not you're a founder, whether or not you're a free to play player, we all can agree that is messed up. I'm winning more because I have more star level than you. I am not beating you because I am better. So next time you race, next time you look at a leaderboard, check to see how many stars they have. You'll be surprised on how many times you're unable to beat them because of that. Remember, levels don't matter, crew doesn't matter. The only thing that matters in this game is stars. So make sure you star up if you plan to take this game seriously. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, you know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often. Will often. Yeah.